Hello, I'm Hayden Bush, Senior Online Editor for Hospitals and Health Networks Magazine, and today we're going to be taking a look at the March issue of HNHN. First up, HNHN Senior Editor Matthew Weinstock is going to talk about the cover story, Teams Work, which takes a look at the way hospitals are evolving to embrace more team-based care. Right, so the uh, cover story for the March issue focuses on team-based care, which is a slowly evolving trend in healthcare and hospitals in particular to move away from that doctor-centric model where the doctor is controlling all the care decisions to one that's more of a team-based approach where you've got the doctor, obviously, and then nurses and, clini and other clinicians, pharmacists, uh, social workers, all engaged together working on a patient's care treatment and program. Um, the doctor makes the final call, obviously, on some of the the treatment going forward, but the team works together to really advance the care model. And we're seeing some improvements on it. Uh, Atlantic Care in, in New Jersey, they have a team-based approach for some of their primary care patients, and they've seen a drop of 40% in ED visits among those patients. And next up, HNHN Managing Editor Bill Santamore takes a look at our Focus on the C-Suite series, which this month profiles the evolving role of hospital CMOs. I'm going to talk about two features that we're running in the uh, March issue that are similar in that they look at the changing roles of two kinds of jobs in the hospital these days, given um, health reform and other pressures that are on hospitals, uh, like the continuum of care, et cetera. One is part of our focus on the C-suite series, and this month we're looking at chief medical officers and the way their roles are changing. Um, given the trend that uh, hospitals are hiring more physicians and chief medical officers are being called upon to really be liaisons between the executive staff and the clinical staff. And a lot of them are going back to business school to um, not only to be able to read financial statements, but to be able to understand strategic management and uh, communication skills. Uh, so that they can influence both um, the physician staff, the hospital board, hospital executives, and so on. And, back. and then the other article that I want to talk about is about uh, the role of nurses, which are broadening in a lot of hospitals. Uh, not only are they delivering care at the bedside, but nurses are being asked to do uh, new kinds of things like uh, population management, which has become a huge issue given healthcare reform and the continuum of care and bundled payments and so forth. And they're even learning how to do research and analyze data when it comes to population management. Um, they're being called upon to uh, focus on discharge planning, working with patients to make them understand what their, their discharge instructions are, then calling them at their home maybe even going to their home to make sure that they're following through on their meds and um, that they're progressing the way they're supposed to. Uh, the big controversy around all this is scope of practice, of course. Some groups, including the AMA, uh, don't want nurses to uh, move into a lot of the areas that physicians have always been in, especially when it comes to primary care. But a lot of organizations are saying that nurses are skilled, they're getting more and more knowledge, and they should be able to practice to the breadth of their abilities. And finally, this month's Executive Dialogue section features a conversation with past winners of the A.H.A. McKesson Quest for Quality Prize, which I moderated during the Institute for Healthcare Improvement National Forum last December. The dialogue features insights from Malk Joshi, president of the A.H.A.'s Health Research and Educational Trust, IHI Vice President Jeff Selberg, and key quality leaders from prior winners of the award. The panel explored issues ranging from the impact of health reform and other key payment changes on quality to the strategies that hospitals can use to both build and sustain lasting quality improvement in their organizations. This has been Hayden Bush for Hospitals and Health Networks. Thanks for tuning in today. <laughs>